I'm Sabrina Koh from Singapore. I'm the president for the Pan Asia Simulation Society in Healthcare. We are currently at the Taylor's University hosting the first in for the inaugural conference for the Pan Asia Society. And in this conference, we have delegates from Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Brunei, Indonesia, China, Hong Kong, Japan, and Saudi Arabia, spread over a two and a half days program, ranging from faculty development, debriefings, uh, simulation technician courses, and as well as research uh, abstract presentations. So it's been an exciting uh, moment meeting people across Asia, and we're hoping that we'll have more conferences coming up in the next few years, beefing up uh, simulation uh, capabilities, teaching, and educational development for healthcare providers across Asia. So we're really indeed uh, fortunate to invite industrial partners from the Lado Medical, CAE, Beeline Medical, BT Incorporated Korea, and Walters Kluwer to support us in this event. Without their support, um, it is really difficult to make this a real, uh, reality. So the PASH Society uh, came together because of a recognition of a need for uh, the multicultural expectations that are in and around Asia. Um, in Asia, there are so many uh, countries in such a small area that have dramatically different cultures as well as dramatically different needs, uh, ranging from countries that are quite wealthy to, to impoverished countries that are resource poor. Um, they're all trying to improve their healthcare system and they all have identified simulation as a mechanism to do that. So the organization came together to specifically look at and address and find the common needs uh, in and around Asia uh, and leverage the resources uh, that are available. The last year uh, was the formal creation, the establishment of the executive committee, uh, and uh, Taylor's University uh, stepped forward uh, with the venue to contribute. Uh, they saw the value in a society that tried to cross the boundaries of Asia and um, offered the venue and a tremendous amount of support. For the keynote presentation, uh, I was asked to talk about the future of simulation, uh, and they wanted some ideas on truly future stability and growth uh, for simulation. So I talked from a couple different perspectives. Uh, one was the design approach to programmatic design uh, insofar as trying to look at things from an education-centric perspective, meaning what's the educational need and, and how do we design for that as opposed to a simulation-centric uh, approach that evaluates what could I simulate and then do it as opposed to a true needs analysis type approach that allows in my opinion, a leaner design of simulation uh, that really focuses on outcomes. Mm -hmm.